to show up. Now, you've had kind words in the past for Rand Paul, who might be a, an opponent of Hillary in a, in a couple of years. Uh, and he keeps dusting off this attack against Bill Clinton uh, in relation to the, the Lewinsky affair. I know you don't talk about Monica in general, but I, I want to ask you about his tactic here. Take a listen to what he just said today. Absolutely. I think it's really important that, you know, for six months leading up to Benghazi, there were multiple requests for more security and she turned these down. There needs to be an explanation. What I would ask anybody is, is it ever appropriate for a 50 year old man to take care of it, to take advantage of, even if it's consensual, a 20 year old woman in the workplace and have relations in the office? No one agrees with that, that being appropriate. Almost any job in the whole country, you would be fired. I think that he harassed people. He was sued multiple times for it. So yes, I think what he did was absolutely inappropriate. Is that being a predator? I don't know how you want to define it, but the thing is, is most people would say it's contemptible. Your reaction, Lenny? I wrote a column about that man when he ran for the Senate, disagreeing with almost everything he stands for, but saying he was an intellectually honest, nice man. His dad, Ron Paul, who was running for president, called me the very next day and thanked me for the column. So let me revise my view. Nasty doesn't work in America, Senator Paul. You're a nasty person to viciously attack and lay that on Hillary Clinton when the American people long ago heard President Clinton apologize for his private conduct. I would say that my first donation for President of the United States in the Republican Party will be to Rand Paul. May he be the nominee. I hope he's the nominee and will win by 50 state landslides because he's nasty and nasty doesn't sell in American politics. Lenny did